Greetings and welcome back to Project Zomboid. You know, I was thinking when they add in animals, I wonder if they're going to add what, how many, what kinds of animals they add in. That sounded ugly. Um, if they add in, say, uh, carry-on feeders like vultures and stuff like that, piles of corpses may attract them. Uh, if they add in Where's my weight at? 75. I'm no longer underweight, but I need to keep eating heavier foods. So let's actually grab a pork chop out of the freezer. Or no, let's add the grab the pizza. And microwave it. Just so it's not frozen. But uh, if they add in carry-on feeders, then things like the uh, um, piles of corpses may attract them. Uh, and I know since there are less less traffic and less actual people running around, um, that uh, things like deer and stuff like that would wander closer. But I'm wondering if the zombies will spook them if they'll avoid zombies so that you have to clear an area of zombies and clean up the corpses like I have been to get the animals to uh, migrate nearby. Um, let me check and see if I do have a key to this door house. No, I don't have the option to lock it. So yeah, I just had the address wrong on that key. Um, I'm also curious if they're eventually going to add in dangerous animals like bears and wolves. Because, you know, wild dogs would be one thing. But uh, having a, something like a bear or something in these woods? Hmm. Alright, uh, crouch. Equip the crowbar in both hands. Get you off my street. Pick up your hat. Get nothing of value. I keep moving too quick when it's grabbing corpse while I have something equipped. But, uh, yeah, so the animals are going to be interesting to me. I can't wait to see them introduced. Uh, but they've got to get the animations, this one stabilized enough to go live before they even start working on, like, an alpha for it, much less a beta. Uh, I don't think I have a red pen. I might. Is there anything on the ground? No. Okay. Move you two. still haven't seen if the rain is washing away the blood. I need to pay attention. Okay, this is the way that this area looks. I'll check it again a little later. This area just still has kind of dried blood in it. Did I even check this mailbox? Let's actually put the crowbar 
on our back and carry the shovel because uh, I think the shovel weighs less than the crowbar. And I'd rather have it easy access right now. So we got five over in this close to here. So let's dig a grave. Nope, no, no. Right here. Military desert boots. I'll take them. They're boots. I saw a tree move. And I don't see any zombies sneaking up. I don't hear them either. Another great thing is keeping these watches on these guys. It, of course, if any of the alarms were going off, they already would have. They've been sitting here over a day. But then I don't have to worry about shutting off all the individual alarms if I bury the corpses quick. Because they cease to be around to the point where we have to worry about them. The minute you stick them in a grave, they're gone. Yeah, there's so much potential to continue updating this game, kind of like the way Minecraft does. Um, because they can continually be improving and adding things, and I kind of hope Indie Stone does that. I kind of hope Indie Stone makes this game, like, their project until they feel it is completely, there's nothing more they could add to it. And they get a lot of ideas from modders, and they get a lot of ideas from people on the forums. I hear his, uh, nope, that's my brother messing with, uh, the thermos again. Dang it, it sounds like a zombie snarling. Alright, gonna have one empty space in this grave after I get these four. There might be one in the house I could bring out. Or there might be one that wanders down the road while I'm doing this. And you guys might have been wondering why I bother renaming the keys so I know which goes to which. Um, I kind of wish they had these uh, house names or whatever on the... Uh, had come up with their own street names or something just so we could do addresses. Because uh, I'm having to actually create my own and like that. But that's because if you break down one of these doors or disassemble this door later... The key and the lock stay um, linked. So if I put this lock on something else and have a key to it, you know, I can rename it again then. I think you're the only one in this house. Yeah, so you will fill up that grave. I actually don't know if I've cleared out Courtman Medical. I think I may have killed at least one inside. Let's go check that real quick, since we're moving up the road. Yeah, there's one right there. I think that may be the only one. I don't think I found anybody else. Yeah, because there was nobody upstairs.
One more spot in this grave. Let's jog over to this other house where we're going to start burying people and rest for a little bit. I don't know if there's anything in here to rest in. No. Okay. Can you rest on the toilet? Nope. Nothing here I can rest on. And I don't think there were any zombies inside. I think I lured the only one out. Let's just put a grave on the back of the house where more of the bodies are. Yeah, back to the subject of animals. But yeah, there's a lot of potential they can do with the animals, and it's something they can continually add features for. Um, you know, they could add in more types of animals. Uh, they could add in the ability to train different animals. Now, modders will take care of a lot of that once the foundation is in place, but I would like to see Indy Stone implement a lot of it. I'll grab the magazine. And then once they get the animals taken care of and start working on the NPCs, I mean, there's a lot of potential there. They could add in raiders, you know, uh, as a means to respawn instead of just zombies. You could have people wandering in from other areas. You could have the military move in at certain points. Um... And they, they have the potential to add other types of events as well. Uh, add in the actual power station and water treatment plant or whatever so that you could activate it to get the water and all back on. And I'm just going to have to sit down for a bit because I am exhausted. I think I'll sit until about 1.30. I know I'm getting sleepy. Alright, I need to smoke. I need to put my jacket on. Oh, I didn't finish wearing it before I started moving. Wear the jacket. Put the lighter up. That should be the last corpse for this grave back here. Put one on the other house. Actually, I'm getting a little sleepy. Let's duck into this house. And take a quick nap. Close those curtains. that door. Just grab a little bit of sleep right here. Maybe it'll have stopped raining. Oh man, I like passed out. That was like almost six hours. Oh well, that was, it was about five hours of sleep. Pain, it's my exercise fatigue. Hopefully it won't last too much longer. Is 
to actually dig two back here. Yeah, I hear you. I'll be looking for you in a sec. You in the building? Alright, I think I've got a riverside map, but let's grab it anyway. Yeah, I figured there was glasses or something on the ground. You've got to be in the building. hell are you? There you are. Shut up. <laughs> All right, I know there's one in the house, two in the house. fill up this first grave. Okay, we've got the key to this house. I'm going to fill up this grave pretty quickly. Phil Grave. Very corpse. Yeah, all three of these right here. And one of those others, and this one's full. Then I can build another one on the side of the house, take care of the rest of them. happy when my strength improves the point where I can haul corpses around without taking damage without having to put down most of my gear to do it when I'm got the equipment I want on me at all times without being encumbered three got. All of you had glasses. Alright, nothing of value. Just pile all three of you into this grave. And with that one and the guy at the front, that's going to fill up this grave. Yeah, they 
could also really expand the farming. Right now they have limited seeds. And of course the farming isn't exactly very realistic. It isn't season based. It doesn't take a long time for stuff to grow. It's like weeks. So you can basically plant um, strawberries any time of the year um, and get them to grow in say about two to three weeks rather than different crops being different seasons. Of course that's mainly for playability purposes because I mean if you had to wait months for fresh food and could only do it at certain times of the year it would make it really difficult to survive in this. Um, yeah, let's put a grave right here. Because you would actually need multiple people. It, you'd have to have something along the lines of what they have in like Walking Dead where you have like a settlement where people are growing crops. Um, what you got? Nothing. You? Nothing. And you, nothing. All right. Let's dig another grave right there at the corner. Pile these uh, into it. Get these three and that one down the street from me. And that one in the middle of the street. Actually, that's one, two, three, four. I can fit five over there, so. I can build another grave next to the sand and basically get rid of all of them. So let's get this guy. And I don't know if I checked the mailbox. I think I did. Anything knocked off your head? Nope. Okay. Let's see if there's more than... F no, there's just four, uh, five right there. So I'll just bury all five of these real quick. Right there. I just saw a zombie to my left. Yeah. Alright, so we have somebody has matches. I will take those. That's another steady supply of something you can get from uh, zombie respawns is lighters and matches. All right, yeah, I've checked all four of you. As you can see, the zombies don't tend to stay near the outskirts of town too much. They tend to cluster in the middle, which is why it's been so hard for me to push into town. Screwdriver. Put your hat back on. five of you right here. That zombie moved on. Where did you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Oh, you're still clustered around that house. Okay. Well, if I get your attention while I'm cleaning up these last few corpses, Got a place to bury you.
otherwise I'll dig a grave up there with you, put you and your friends in it. I'll grab the extra bulletproof vest. And heck, I'll, I'll grab a set of police clothes. You had glasses. Well, sorry for the uh, mass grave burial here, officer. It's what I got to work with. Alright, that one's full. There was one woman down here, or man. And then I've got to check inside that house. A lot of people wear glasses. It's gonna break my back, but I'm gonna take it all the way up to this one. It's open. I think this may be the last person to fit in here. Yep. Grab these corpses over near the car. I think there may only be one. Oh, there's a few I could add to it right there. Let's get her. I'll leave that grave open since there are zombies over here I could deal with. Because I don't think this will fill it up. Yeah, it's got space for three more. Now let's check inside and out back of this house. And then we will be done cleaning up northward so we can start pressing farther forward. Yeah, there's one. Have I not been in this house? Oh, that's an empty bottle. That's the reason I didn't pick it up. I think there's just the one in here. Yep. Well, let's rest before we deal with him. We were actually so exhausted, we almost, we get in the full 30 minutes of rest, it looks like. We'll drop the empty bottle off of you. Uh, so go ahead and grab the empty bottle. I can make use of bottles. Go ahead and grab the empty bottle. Now let's get out of here. And I'm actually going to head, even though this is hurting, I'm going to head down this way. Check behind the house real quick. Yep, there's one more back there. I'm going to take this one to this grave down here, which I think is still open. Yep, that fills up that one. Let's head back up and get that last corpse. I guess we'll take her over to this other grave that's open. And this is going to exhaust the hell out of us. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess with the poor hearing and senses, the metas aren't really drawing the zombies too well in my sandbox settings. Because that gunshot didn't make any of them flinch. I ain't seen any moving this way. Actual gunfire tends to. But I guess the meta noises just aren't drawing. Let's check the back road on the way back. Yeah, we've got our neighborhood and the northern neighborhood cleaned up. Uh, I've got to clean up around the uh, convenience store. And then the other areas to the north really haven't been explored. I probably should have pushed north from the beginning since that's where I found the shovel and I wouldn't have so much backlog of burying corpses I could have been burying them a little quicker as I went. Let's stop. Let's uh, sit on the ground for about 20 or 30 minutes. That'll work. Now we should be able to jog the rest of the way home. Not running quite in a straight line. I'm, I'm gradually shifting over to the left. Let's do a quick run around our house, make sure none have migrated this way. Now that could be one thing. Those meta noises, I'm not sure where they're centered. So just because I hear a gunshot off in the distance doesn't mean it's in a particular direction from me. Um, I could have been hearing one, say, positioned near my house or something. All right, uh, clothing is a little bit dirty, but I think we'll skip the laundry today and just go straight to the sack. Oh, I do have stuff to put up. Um, so I do have stuff to throw in the washing machine. Let's put up... I could have sworn I had something I wanted. Oh, the empty bottle. Let's put the empty bottles in here. Oh, I keep running into walls because I'm looking at my inventory and not where I'm going. Um, we have a red pen. Yeah, we already had one. Yeah, let's have two. Have another screwdriver. Another kitchen knife. Oh yeah, the Riverside map. Matches. We'll stick all the cop stuff in the washing machine. And heck with it. Yeah, let's go ahead and wash our clothes. So to be through that, not counting the crucifix. That apparently never gets dirty or bloody. Jewelry.
Oh, and there's something else I need to do, because I've got hair. Put the magazine up. Is the razor downstairs? I believe it is. Let's go downstairs. Let's actually keep a razor on us from now on. We'll keep it in our fanny pack. Won't fit in that one. We'll put it in the rear fanny pack. All right. Um, change. I gotta have scissors. Let's just shave all my hair. And go back to uh, the full beard. There we go. Nice and civilized looking again. We're hungry. So before we sleep, let's actually eat. Where's the razor? Did I actually consume it? No, it's still equipped. I forgot. Equipped items go down to the bottom. What do we have? We have an open can of beans and potatoes. Let's get a cooking pot. Fill it with water. Basically doing scrambled eggs with uh, potatoes. Uh, now let's add some salt and pepper. This causes 16 unhappiness. That's fine. Uh, let's. Um, Turn that on. Go move all our clothes to the dryer. We're actually getting to where we can only need to nap twice a day. I mean, we basically nap right after we exercise in the morning and then about noon when we exercise fatigue is about to kick in anyway. So yeah, that arrow must have meant my weight was going up. Excuse me. Turn on the dryer. Alright, that's going to take a while to cook. Let's see, can we sterilize anything? Disinfect all my rags. I 
under the sink. Is it that one? No. That one. Top one. Let a little time pass while it cooks. Grab that. Actually, it looks like our uh, morning routine is getting pushed farther and farther back as we our sleep schedule shifts around. Because we well, no, no, we might wake up around four in the morning. Yeah. Go ahead and get our exercises taken care of. First of May, so it's an odd day, which means it is a fitness day. So start with squats. Didn't even exhaust me. Let's go straight into push ups. Alright, high exertion. Now let's rest for about 20 minutes. Do sit ups. that let's rest for it looks like 20 more minutes do more push-ups rest and go well yeah let's actually rest a little bit longer just to get rid of that and do the final batch of squats. Alright, get all my gear. Um, wear on front. Wear on back. Equip on back. Go get all my clothes and lay back down. Oh, and grab a smoke while you're going down there. I've got about, let's see, I've got almost a carton of cigarettes. 200 cigarettes would be a carton. Because it'd be uh, 10 packs of 20 each. Wear that. Actually, let's do it this way. But the, where did I just throw that? That's supposed to go in your hiking bag. All of this stuff gets worn. <laughs> Loot all of that and take it upstairs. Oh, I do have a bulletproof vest I can wear. That's right. Wear one of those. Yeah, right now clothing gives bite and scratch protection. I'm uh, anticipating they're going to add in bullet and stuff protection eventually. All right, put the cop's clothes in storage. Won't fit. Put the cops clothes on the floor in storage until we get more containers. There 
there we go. And let's go to sleep and probably wake up around 10. No, oh, nine. Even better. Alrighty, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.